did you ever do a bad performance? How bad is that? Bad is... Different, eh? Because there are these performances when my heart's in it, but technically something's wrong because I'm either ill or I'm not hitting the notes that I want to hit because of more physical limitations with my health. Like if I have laryngitis or something. But a bad performance is one where your heart's not in it. Performance I give, I just my heart has to be in this, or else it's empty, and it makes no sense to, to get up there and do it if your heart's not in it, it's and audiences can smell it.
delighted to have you on the show. Thank is this you. the first television show you've done here? Yes, it's the first one. You're a veteran of television shows in your native Philippines. Yes. I've had my own TV show back home for around two years with my brother. And um, mostly children's shows. We have some musical numbers and do all sorts of things. Yeah, and you've had, you've had records released yes. as well. Mm -hmm. And you've appeared in all sorts of musicals. Yes, the first one was The King and I when I was seven. The first lead I got was Nanny. It's terrific to have you here. I mean, they must have scoured the world for somebody as good as you. How, how do you cope? How old are you? 18. And how do you cope? Well, first of all, you've had an enormously successful career in your home. How do you cope with having to get involved in love scenes and all of this? Well, it's difficult enough if you've got to sing at the same time. <laughs> how do you cope with that? Um, for one thing, I have a very good director, Nicholas Heitner, who is, I think, the wunderkind now of the theater. And um, I have a very understanding partner, Simon Bowman. And it took a pretty long time to get the love scenes right for me, because I've never fallen in love before. So it took a while to get to get the passion out. But eventually it did. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, most, most young people here of 18 would have had the passion out long before. <laughs> 18, is it, well? Right? You must, you must. <laughs> you live in a very, you live in a very, the Philippines is a very enclosed kind of society. You're brought up rather Quite strictly. Quite conservative, yes. Yeah. My parents aren't exactly as strict as people in the world. It's just that I never really wanted to have a boyfriend. Yeah. You still don't want one. Don't you? I don't. Um, well, we have a lot of, of young ladies, probably a little younger than you in the audience today. Oh, yes. And, um, no. <laughs> no, they don't boys, want a boyfriend. Boys are awful. How did, how, did your, <laughs> how did your parents feel when they saw you in this role? Oh, they loved it. They, you know, they, they loved the show. My father was very supportive. I said, Dad, I called him once. I said, Dad, I'm going to be appearing in very skimpy costumes. I'm going to be doing kissing scenes. He goes, well, dear, it's reality. You know, you have to do it because it's real. You know, he just, he, he, he's not very, he's protective. But he knows that I've got to do this because it's for the role. My mum was very understanding. It took a while. We were pretty shocked at first. Yeah. You're a long way from home here, don't you? A bit. Yes. Homesick. Mm -hmm. And there's all my friends back home, my family, and my brother and my sister, my dad back home, and my school friends. You miss them all. And of course, you haven't got much time to make friends here. You're, you're on stage every night at Drury Lane. Yeah, I've got like and, and two matinees. friends, actually. Yeah. All of them members of the cast. So I made lots of friends. 14, 1, 42, who the producers, director, composer, all my friends are. Great dating. How did you get the part? I auditioned in Manila. Um, Cameron McIntosh, Nicholas Heitner, Alain Boubin, Claude Michel Schomburg, along with Vincent Liff, the casting director from New York, and Edward Baer. Um, all went to the Philippines. I think they went around the world first before landing in Manila. And we auditioned 111 women. And I got the part. What about the singing? Oh, had you been a, you've been a singer yes. before, pop singer. But this is a bit different. Well, I'd done musicals, as you mentioned before, so it really wasn't different. And I listened to the tape of Les Miserables, and I'd sing along with some of the songs. And so it really wasn't that big a change. And some of the songs are quite poppy, actually, so it's great. Well, you sound wonderful singing them, because I've been lucky enough to see the show. Yeah. You're terrific again. Yeah. Please stay with us for a moment, while, while we meet at your close star. Leia Salonga. I think once you see all the people and know that everybody's rooting for you and know that there's not a hostile soul in, <laughs> in the stalls or in the or anywhere, it's just going to be fun.
elephants na nakataas yung trunk uh, yung ano trunk that are and they're pointed towards the stage for good luck ah yeah ah